Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Hero Arts. In today's video, we are going to create this colorful birthday card featuring the December Premium My Monthly Hero Kit. We're going to start with the included luxe white watercolor paper. You get six sheets in your kit. I'm going to grab one of these sheets. They're eight and a half by five and a half and just cut it in half. So I have an A2 panel, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I have a bunch of Hero Arts Reactive ink, six colors in total. I'm going to start with blue raspberry here and apply the ink directly with the ink pad onto the panel in this kind of swiping motion. I'm just putting pressure at the very edge of the uh, ink pad so only a small portion of the ink pad comes in contact and that's how I just get these kind of like stripes of color. I made my way through my first six and I'm just going to repeat the pattern in this kind of rainbow order and once I get all the way to the edge we'll be ready for a really fun and easy watercolor background. So now that the ink is there and on our watercolor panel I've grabbed my little spray bottle of water and I'm just going to mist or spray kind of focusing my spray at the top of the panel and once I get this with enough water on that I can see the ink is activated and moving I will then grab the water flow brush that's included in uh, the classic and the premium kit this month and with the brush dry essentially I didn't add any water to the barrel of this brush I'm just using the brush here I'm going back and forth over these uh, ink swipes to kind of blend them a little bit and also to can kind of control the if I have a little bit of too much water Water, I'll kind of pick up that water. I do kind of clean my paintbrush in between colors. You can see I just cleaned it right there between that blue raspberry and then I dry my brush and then I go to my next stripe. So here I'm on to the Key Lime Fizz and again just kind of blending it out a little bit, smoothing it out and moving that color down a little bit more down the panel. I want this to kind of look like drips. I'm not super concerned that it looks really realistic. I just want more of that color down the panel. I don't want to keep it all in that upper um, kind of half. I want it down all the way to like almost the very last quarter of the panel. And at the edges, you'll get more of your water on the right and left sides of your panel. That's because the panel kind of bows up a little bit when it's wet. So those are the areas you're going to want to probably really focus on at first. You're either right or left side and just pick up some of that excess uh, color so you don't get over mixing. We want to still have very distinctive colors here. And that's why I started right away on that right side and kind of cleaned it up and then worked my way over to kind of the left side. So now we're ready for the sea salt reactive ink. So in your kit, the uh, premium December kit, you get this sea salt reactive inker. I've added a few drops to a palette and spritzed it with water. So added some water to that ink just to, to dilute it a little bit. My panel here is still a little damp. So my watercolor stripey panel is still a little bit damp. And I'm going to load my brush up with some of that watered down sea salt ink and then, then just splatter the panel with that ink. This is going to create some beautiful blooms over this panel. Almost looks like, so it's appropriately named, um, like salt if you put salt over a watercolor panel. I just love this look. It's so cool. It's a little subtle, but really beautiful. I think in the end result, this will look kind of like confetti. And I want to clarify once again that the water brush barrel is completely empty. I have no water in it and I also did not add any of the um, sea salt uh, reactive ink in the barrel either. It's just, I'm just using it as a brush. Now we're going to move on to this alphabet die that's included in both the classic and premium kit and I'm going to go ahead and die cut it out of some dove white cardstock so I have a bunch of letters. Now I do need that E two more times so I just grabbed these little scraps of dove white cardstock, placed it behind that E and then I ran that through my die cutting machine. That way I can die cut just those E's essentially and not have to use a whole panel every time. Now we're going to add some gold to these letters. So I have the uh, gold glimmer ink that's included in the premium kit. I added a couple drops to my palette spritzed some water inside so added some water to that gold glimmer ink mixed it all up and then we're going to grab our letters and we're going to paint just kind of like the bottom third of them i'm kind of doing it at an angle a little bit but it this is really simple you don't have to overthink it just kind of getting some of that beautiful gold shimmer ink down there. I am using the Hero Arts tweezers to hold these letter die cuts while I paint them. This made that so easy. It would have been really kind of um, awkward to hold them with my uh, 
my actual left hand while I paint them with my right. And here I am, I'm finishing up that last E. I've just placed them on my little Hero Arts palette to dry. And now we're gonna move on to our watercolor panel again. It's all dry now. I'm gonna grab that same gold glimmer ink that we had before. I'm going to add a couple, a little bit more water and I actually should have added even more water than I did here because it's still a little bit thick, but I'm just going to load my brush up again, just which, which just means I'm just kind of dipping my brush into the um, gold glimmer uh, ink and just getting a lot of that ink onto the brush and then tapping to create a bunch of splatters in that background. Now we're going to move on to our sentiment. I have the numbers clear stamp set that's included in the premium December kit. I'm going to go ahead and grab this happy birthday. I've already cut it. I cut it earlier for another card. So I just cut between the happy and the birthday to separate it. And now we're going to kind of create this sentiment strip with it. I have a little scrap of granite cardstock here and I've placed my two uh, stamps side by side. So we have that strip, added some anti-static powder, then I'm going to ink it up in embossing and watermark ink, stamp it onto the scrap of granite cardstock, dip it into Hero Arts gold embossing powder, tap off the excess, and then of course heat set with my heat tool. Now I want it to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to have the happy stamped again. So I'm just taking that first part of my sentiment, happy, and stamping it again. Again, inking up an embossing watermark ink, going to dip it into some gold embossing powder, and then I will heat set, of course, with my heat tool. And now we have our sentiment ready to go, and it says, happy, happy birthday, really fun and cute. So I'm now ready to kind of put this card together, but I'm noticing that my gold glimmer ink is still a little bit wet. So I'm just going to grab a paper towel and pick up some of those thicker gold glimmer drops a little bit. Um, like I said earlier, I didn't add quite enough water and diluted enough so it took a little bit longer to dry. So just add a little bit more water if it's feeling kind of thick and it'll dry a lot faster. I've added some liquid glue to the back side of my panel, placed it down onto my A2 top folding white card base. And now we'll be ready to kind of arrange our letters. I did put a plate for my die cutting machine on top just to kind of weight it down. The nice thing is the plate's clear so I can still kind of arrange while that's like set, that glue is setting up. I'm going to arrange my letters kind of into a grid. It's going to say celebrate obviously. Once I get all my letters arranged and my sentiment or, uh, underneath, I'll grab a piece of press and seal, place it on top to pick up those letters and sentiment. I did get my little sentiment stripped a little out of place, so I'm going to readjust here, then pick it up with the press and seal. And once I have all of my letters and sentiment in the right place, I'm going to flip over the piece of press and seal, and then we're going to go ahead and add some foam adhesive to the backside of these die cuts and sentiment just to pop them up and add a little bit of dimension to this really fun and colorful card. Uh, once I finish adding the strips, I'll then remove the backing. This is my last little piece here and then we'll stick it to the card front. Oh, but I am adding some liquid glue to the backside of the foam adhesive just to give me a little bit of wiggle room um, before I stick these letters down, just, as, just in case I notice when I stick it down that one of the letters did get a little bit off, then that little bit of liquid glue on the foam adhesive will give me a little bit more time to kind of tweak the letters and um, or, or sentiment if I find that any of them are a little crooked or anything. And I did notice that some of that, that C was a little off, so I did tweak a little of the letters just to kind of straighten them out. All right, and that is the finished card. I'll go ahead and ha hold up to the camera so you get a good look at all the details. Our watercolor background is so pretty. I love that rainbow stripey, um, drippy kind of background with the sea salt splatters and the gold glimmer splatters. It almost looks like confetti in the background. And then of course our letters look so pretty. They just pop in that background with that little bit of gold painting. Hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.